Hello, you guys. Welcome in to my favorite part of the home. Hold on. I have a hair. Um, this is my closet. In here is all of my handbags. So we are going to do my handbag collection, updated handbag collection video. It's been a while. I thought I did this more recent than I actually did, but I went back on my channel and I was like, oh damn, it's been a while. So I will link you the last one that I did, which I was in a totally different house and we're going to do an updated one now. I also will link you, I have an SLG video that I did years ago and that really hasn't had too many updates. I'll link that one too. This video though, I'm just going to do bags and like mini bags, which I think count as bags, not SLGs. I was hoping for one more to have to share with you, but it just hasn't happened yet. Still searching for my tweed bag. I thought I had it and I went back and forth and I didn't feel good about the purchase. So I didn't, I was kind of hoping to have that for having, hoping to have a tweed bag, but not yet. And I know the one that I find will be worth the wait. I just want it to be the perfect one and exactly what I'm looking for. So before I open here, I have some bags that I pulled that I have on my display rack out in my bedroom that are larger that don't fit in here. So I'm just going to run you through those really quick. I feel like, I feel like I need to say this, but I don't feel like I need to say this. I'm 37. I've been collecting bags for a really long time. I'm saying this more so for anybody that's just clicking on this video that isn't subscribed or has been with me as long as most of you have. This is not, this, this collection was not born overnight and... Uh, I've worked very hard for it. So I'm proud of it. And I'm not ashamed to say that I like nice things and I work hard for nice things. And you can too. <laughs> I don't know why I feel like I say that. I feel like as I get older, I care less and less what people think. But I know sometimes when I was younger and I would click on like luxury videos, I'd be like, oh, must be nice. Or, you know, but just know that this collection has been years in the making. And as I've gotten older, I have just realized that I've enjoyed investing in bigger ticket items or a luxury piece over luxury clothes. So I love shopping at Target, Old Navy, Walmart for clothes, but my bags are where I like to spend my money when it comes to my wardrobe. So I have also condensed I don't buy as much or as often as I should say as I once did. I'm not after the latest and greatest. I'm not trying to chase trends. The bags that I have in my collection, I want to use and love and get excited to use them and want to use them. And so over the years, I have definitely parted ways with some bags and replaced them or didn't replace them. But my collection, I feel like I'm proud of it. I love where it's at right now. I still do want to add a couple things, which I can talk you through. But we'll start here. This is a classic. This is the Dior book tote in the classic size. I think they now have two other sizes. It's in the blue, the navy, and I love this for traveling. I love that it's a structured bag. It's super lightweight, but it can get heavy depending on what you start putting in here. I also use this a lot in the summer for like a tote, for a, a, like a pool day tote to just throw all of our stuff in or my stuff in the kids change of clothes, but I absolutely love this. I love that it's blue. It just matches really well with denim. And then I have this bag from Prada. This is a straw bucket tote. I actually got this this year. I replaced, I had another Prada straw bucket tote that I sold and replaced with this one. I wanted this one a few years ago and they didn't have it. So I kind of settled on the corn husk one, which I sold. And then when I saw this one come back out this summer, I made the switch. So I love this one again, just for, for the summertime is a cute little tote running errands. I love that it's open. And I really love that there is this leather braided detail mixed with the straw. And it does have a little tie here that you can use to close. Any bags I can find online, I'll try to link for you. I fashion file and the real real are really the only two websites that I can personally speak to my own experiences. I have both bought bags from and sold bags. I also will link in the description my personal shoppers that I have personally purchased from that I can personally attest to a smooth transaction and a great 
great products. So I'll link them because most of the times now it's becoming harder and harder to just go into the store and buy the bag that you want. So I have made relationships with some essays all over the world, really, and I'll link you to them if you need a good one. Okay. This is the Prada backpack and forgive me. I don't know the name, like the correct proper names of a lot of these, but I actually bought this one from a friend on that I met through YouTube and Instagram. She oftentimes has like sales where she gets rid of some of her bags and she was getting rid of this one, which has been on my radar for a while. And I love this. It's nylon. I have used this so much for travel and it's just easy. It's so lightweight. It opens up and it fits a ton. Look, I have wrappers from my kids. I use this a lot for soccer on the weekends to just throw everything in. And it's just a classic black bag. This is my Stony Clover chambray. I'm not going to do my Stony Clover collection. I do have a highlight on my Instagram. If you want to see, um, this is just hanging here. So I thought I'd mention it. Let's open up. So a lot of these you'll see from my last bag collection. This is my number one favorite. One of my first designer bags I ever purchased. This is the Chanel reissue in Navy. It is pretty large considering my taste now. Like I bought this bag before I was a mom, when I was just single and working in corporate. I love this bag though. I will never, ever, ever part with it. Even though I don't reach for it as much, it is still my favorite. Like I just have so many memories and good times attached. I think it's such a beautiful bag. I love the closure on it. The leather is just incredible. So I love this forever. And I, I do, as much as I love gold and wear more gold, I do love that this is more of a darker gunmetal. Okay. This bag was purchased during the pandemic. Don't ask me why. Where was I going? But I was online shopping a lot and I love it. It's a dark distressed denim. Chanel does a lot of these denim bags in different colors. And this is the gray black. I love it with black jeans. And I love that you just don't have to be so careful. The denim is incredibly soft and squishy. And I don't know, this bag just makes me so happy. And although it was during lockdown that I purchased this bag, I still feel like I have like good memories associated with it. There's a little pocket on the back. The Louis Vuitton Palm Springs mini backpack. I have the little straps tucked in. This is a classic. This zipper annoys the piss out of me. It's just not the easiest thing to get into. And it's not a smooth zipper. This is one of the original styles. I think they've updated the zipper since. And I think I've heard that you can bring your old one in and they'll replace it with a new one. I just haven't looked into doing that. As much as the zipper kind of annoys me, it's still one of my favorite bags. I'll never part with it. I'll always have it. I love this styled so many different ways. Most of the time I wear it crossbody. I do wear it as a backpack sometimes. I think it's a perfect size. And I just monogram canvas as I've gotten older, I have just come to appreciate so much more and slowly like just replacing everything in my collection with monogram from Louis Vuitton. This is kind of an SLG. This is the toiletry 26. And I love, this is one of my favorite bags to travel with because not only do I use it as a toiletry bag, it also doubles once I get to my destination, it doubles and it has doubles for me as a nighttime clutch. It's just classic. It's a great size and I love this one. Okay, Balenciaga. I don't know the exact name of this one. I purchased this one off Fashion File last year. It was pre-owned and I flip and love this bag. I have an unboxing. I will link to link you to it in the description box, but this is a great catch all. And it also does have a great skinny strap that you can wear this as crossbody. but I love the handles. If you guys are OGs, then you know my bag collection. I feel like mostly Balenciaga when I first started, I feel like it was just a better price point for me. Still living home with my parents, but it was still designer. I have since like, I still just, I love Balenciaga. I love the leather. I love the brand. I love the price point. I think it's affordable and the leather, I swear to you, it just gets better and better and better over time. I love the ease of this one that it's black and classic. It's a great little mom bag. Usually it sits on the front seat of my car. Okay. I have two Colt Gaia's. These are my weakness. I love these. I think they're actually on sale right now. By the time you're seeing this video, 30% off, which they never go that low. 
This is the mini and this is the nano. I started with this then I saw the black one. I love this bag so freaking much. I've used it, used both of them a ton. Okay, I actually think I might be selling this bag. I have an unboxing with this one too, which I can link for you. If anybody is interested, I was actually gonna reach out and do like a thing on Fashion File. If any of you are interested, I just, I love this bag so much. I just don't reach for it anymore. It is a great top handle. I love that the leather is darker and it's black. I initially, when I bought this bag, I bought the ballerina pink and then I exchanged it for the black. I mean, it is in like perfect condition. This is the strap. The dust bag is in here. It's like a black microfiber. The sides are magnetic on both sides. It's such a great bag. It, I have been going back and forth about getting rid of this bag for two years and I just haven't. And I'm like, oh, maybe I will use it. And then, I don't know, I love the style. I think it's so pretty. Maybe I will keep it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm so, so torn. This is a Covet bag, buttery leather. I don't know if this is still available from Stella and Dot. I'll link you if it is, but I love this bag too. It's a great size. Also has that skinny strap so you can wear it crossbody like the Balenciaga. This is a great little clutch. Chanel wallet on chain. So many good memories with this one too. I bought this on a whim, was not expecting it. This was one of those bags that got away and I never ever stopped thinking about it. And then when I was in LA with my family one year, I forget what store I was in, in South Coast Plaza. And I was talking to the SA and I was like, oh, there's this Camila walk that I just have been dying to get my hands on. I can't get it anymore. She's like, I think I can get that for you. And I just remember thinking, why? Like I, I just had accepted that I never would have it. And sure enough, there was one left in the whole company. I forget where it came from. She ordered it and had it shipped to my house. And it's great. I love the flowers on it. I love the size. And I love that the strap is thin. Okay, Louis Neverfull. This is a classic. I keep it stuffed. It's tore up on the inside. This has been through the war with me literally on so many planes traveled mom bags spills it's been through it but I love this bag and anybody that ever reaches out and asks my opinion on like a good starter I always say the never full this is the mm size almost sold this bag so happy that I didn't this is from Chanel's cruise collection I want to say 2008 maybe eight or nine I love this color. It's calf skin, has the matte gold hardware. And I just, I don't know, I almost got rid of this and I'm so happy that I didn't. The leather is incredible on it. It's buttery soft and I, I just love this chevron detail. It's, it's different than any Chanel that I have. And honestly, the beige Chanel's are so beautiful and I've always considered getting another one, like a classic, just a classic flap but I can't justify it because I have this one and I love this bag so much better than any of the other ones that I have seen. But I feel like the beige classic flaps with the gold hardware is, is iconic, but I love this one so much. Okay. This was my unicorn for the longest time. Missed out on the first time it re was released kicked and screamed and cried. And then they re-released this color caramel, which Chanel has never done. I think I'm correct in saying in the history, they usually, you know, they have very many beige bags and red bags and blue bags, but even with the beige, it's always like a slightly different formula, a slightly different color. This is exactly the same. I think it was the 21A collection that released and then they released 21P, same exact caramel color. And one of my essays hooked me up and got this for me. And I love this bag. And I have to tell you that the Chanel 19, they have it in so many different colors and fabrics. Tweed was the other one I was looking at. I love the mixed metal detail of the handle. The Chanel 19 is not my favorite bag. And I feel like it has to be done in the right color combo. I don't think that this bag, when, when this bag first came out, I was not, I was so underwhelmed and I couldn't understand the hype that people were making about it until I saw it in caramel. And then I thought, okay, I get it now. But this bag, I don't love this bag in every, the only other 
bag the only other color combo that i love is black which i still would prefer a classic style over the 19 in black and the tweeds i love the tweeds specifically like the oreo tweed other than that i'm just not crazy for the chanel 19 style i know there's a lot of people that have like a collection of them and i just the caramel is where it's at and it's crazy because I, I've never had a desire to own the caramel color in any other style with all the classic flaps that have come out and some of the wa the wallet on chains and I've just only ever wanted the caramel in this one and this is like I could see why people love this bag it is the softest bag I own it's buttery I also am extremely paranoid when carrying it because of that but it's worth it and I love it and it's it's my favorite color it's my favorite color to wear in the fall and I actually still have the plastic wrapping um, because I'm just crazy like that. And I don't want anything to happen to this bag. <laughs> Another bag that I don't think I will ever part with. It's one of, I think this was my fur. No, my reissue was my first. Second Chanel that I ever bought. I specifically wanted the burgundy interior because I had read up on why this color and you know, the representation of it all. But I just don't wear silver jewelry. I don't, silver does not look good on me, but I don't think I'll ever part with this bag because it has so much history tied to it. And I do use this. I feel like I do use this bag more than you would think for somebody that doesn't really wear silver. The bag is an immaculate shape. It's caviar, which I love because I don't have to be super careful. It's, it's durable. It holds up. I mean, this bag is beautiful and it's stunning. I do want a classic with gold hardware though. It's on my list. This is the Chloe backpack in that same saddle color. They, I think it's the Fay. I think it's called. They don't make this bag anymore, but I love this. I, I've worn it as a shoulder in the crook of my arm as a backpack. I love the skinny straps. This color is everything. And I love the suede with the gold chain detail. You can also unzip the sides and like expand the bag. Another bag that I will never part with. Okay. My husband bought me this bag. This is a speedy um, monogram that I got to customize. And there was just a lot of like thought that went into what I wanted to do here. He got this for me, I think for our first or second wedding anniversary. And I picked my two favorite fall colors, which are this like burgundy and mustard in my initials. These were like my new initials. And I love, love these colors for the fall. I feel like the Speedy is just a fall bag. I sold my Speedy Damier, which was the 30 size and I think this is also the 30 and then I chose the mustard for the interior which was perfect until my son's blueberries exploded at the bottom I still have PTSD from it I don't want to talk about it but I just love that this is like a custom bag that I created and it represents like we got married in October the fall is my favorite season so I had to do the fall colors but I don't use this bag as often as I should. I just don't use or carry like large bags anymore. Um, I've just downscaled now that I'm carrying a lot less with the kids being a little older. This is the Gucci Mar Marmount Black Velvet. I love this bag. The interior is pink satin. This is just the classic. This is a great holiday bag. This is usually the go my go-to holiday bag when I'm dressed up. Okay, I have this train case in two sizes this one i keep out on display i actually use this one a whole hell of a lot more because i don't travel with a ton of stuff when it comes to like makeup but i only use these for makeup this is if i'm going on a longer trip and i just want to take one bag i'll put makeup and skincare in here but typically i think this is a better size to travel i was torn i almost actually sold this one so glad that I didn't. I think it's a beautiful vintage vanity case. I don't know. I just love it. I'm so happy I never sold it. Red Chanel. Always wanted a red Chanel. I got this one, I think, last year. This is the little square mini. And I use this a ton around the holidays. Um, it is lambskin, so I have to be super careful. But I do love the color red that this is. Red can be such a tricky color to get the right thing. 
Okay, my first ever handbag purchase collection. I actually think I'm gonna be using, this is gonna be my go-to handbag this week. In the Black Cherry, this was my first paycheck of my big girl job. I was still living home with my parents so I could afford to treat myself, but my first paycheck paid for this bag. And this is still like one of my favorites. I love this color. I love how the leather has worn. I love this style. I have since, when I got, after I got this bag, I was on, I had such an obsession with the classic city that I ended up getting it in black and Sahara, which I have since sold, but I will never part with this one. It's slouchy. It's so good. This color, you don't see this color anymore, especially not in Balenciaga. This is a bag from Miu Miu that I would, would be willing to part with. I just, it's big, it's chunky, it's incredibly soft. And I love the color. I just don't even remember the last time that I carried this bag. And the interior is this beautiful, like, violet purple. Again, just lots of memories associated with this, which is why I think I have left it in my collection. It does have a crossbody strap. Kind of reminds me of Balenciaga with just how slouchy it is. There's little bows on the side. But yeah, I could probably part with this. I just haven't tried. Okay, this was my unicorn. I don't think I had this in my last updated collection. This is a Speedy 35, and this was my unicorn from the minute that it was released. I couldn't find it anywhere, and then since then, I just, every time I would find it pre-loved on the resale market, it just wasn't in good shape, too high priced. And I had mentioned it on Instagram one time and I actually had a follower reach out. She found this, somebody was selling it through a Facebook group and, or no, yeah, it was online. It was through, through a Facebook group, but then I found them on Instagram and uh, I got it for like the most ridiculous price. It's in pretty much like 99% perfect condition. I do have a Samorga organizer in here that I did in the pink. But I love this bag. I don't carry it as often as I wish. I took it to California last year. It was my travel bag. I love how the leather has patinaed and oh, I'm just so freaking happy to have this in my collection. I sought after that bag for so many years. The pink velvet. I love this one too. Same as the black. It's a little bit larger in size and it has the teal interior and the teal satin interior. I loved this whole collection of Marmount bags. They had so many beautiful colors. So this is a little bit larger. Here they are side by side. So you can see, I love this color pink though. And that's pretty much it uh, as far. Oh wait, I got one more. Of course I still have this one. I'll have this one forever. Henry Bendel. The Sunday brunch tote, love this color, love this style, the structure of it. This was like one of the OGs that we all went crazy for and I'm so proud that I still have it and love it. I actually wore it a lot last fall. I need to break it out again. And then I also have this vintage boho bag I can share. They repurpose Louis Vuitton bags and they just like make it fringe. I wore this one to a concert last weekend. The chain's really pretty. It doesn't fit a ton, but it's a really cool style crossbody. I wore this to see Kelsey Ballerini and Walker Hayes, actually. So, is that it? Oh no, wait, a couple more, a couple more. I brought them and I forgot. My bum bag, my LV bum bag. I have this one hanging out, hanging out in my bedroom on my clothing rack. I love this bag. People always ask me, would you rather this one or the Palm Springs Mini? And I always say, don't make me choose. This one you can style very differently. This one fits a lot more. I just, I don't know, don't make me choose. I love it. The Gucci Soho disc bag. This is still the one that I recommend for people that message me and they're like, I'm just starting out with a designer. I wanna start out with a designer collection. What's a good one to invest in? This is a great price point. The leather is not so sensitive. You can be not rough with it, but you don't have to be so careful. It's pebbled, but it's also very, very soft. I love the detail and it fits a ton. This one comes in black and I think in red too, but I do love the neutral, this Gucci, this color for Gucci is so good. So this is always the bag that I say, the Soho disc bag from Gucci. This is a classic that I'll have in my collection forever. will never go out of style. The Prada re-edition. I love this bag. I don't use it as much as I would like because it does have the silver hardware, but this is a great sport mom, soccer mom. Um, I wore it recently as a fanny 
on Instagram, I showed how to do that. I forgot. Forgot this little guy. I have an unboxing. This is the little Pochette Matisse mini with the chain. I actually wore this one recently to another concert and it's the perfect little size. I love this bag, but I don't think I'll ever get the large size because it's just too large for me and I won't reach for it as much that I love the silhouette. And then I do also have this little Chanel crossbody metallic gold. Doesn't fit a lot. When I take this bag, you can fit your cards standing up. You can also fit a key fob and a small lip gloss. But really, like, when I'm going out, what more do I need? You know, there's a little Chanel charm. Oh, I have one other mini I forgot to bring in here. Hold on. I almost forgot. This is my little Fendi Sherpa nano bag. I love the gold chain. It almost looks like a necklace chain. And it has this pulley that you can pull down and adjust. But I love the gold detail. Love that it's Sherpa. But again, this is not like, it's not going to fit <laughs> very much at all. I've carried it a few times. I actually have a wedding to go to this weekend and I'm thinking, oh, I still have a lipstick in here. So it does fit, does fit a lipstick. But yeah, you could fit a card, a key fob, and maybe a lipstick. It's a magnet closure, but this, this is a really cute bag. I love the little Sherpa. And then I forgot, I have this one sitting out on my chaise. Of course, I still have my Chanel Duvel in the, I should just say, this is a tweed bag. This should just like satisfy, satisfy my craving for tweed bags because I forgot that this one's kind of tweed too. But this is definitely a summer spring bag with it being so light. I love this bag. I, man, I see Duvel styles anymore and I'm like, I'm so happy that I have this bag because I just... Since this bag released and I got it, I have not been even remotely interested in another one that I've seen since then. I love the colors. I love that there's like gold metallic tweed sewn in. And I mean, this bag has really held up. I use this a lot in the summer. I have my fanny in here right now. I do have a Samorga organizer, but yes, could not forget. This is one of my faves easily. So, that is my updated handbag collection. I still need to decide what to do with that Louis Vuitton palace. And I do want to clear out a couple more and maybe make room. I don't know. I'll keep you guys posted. But I hope you guys enjoyed my collection. I will link you to any handbag videos that I have on my channel below. Anything that I can find, like pre-loved that I can find, I'll link you to that too. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.